Yo, what's up guys? Steve Reese here again for Player Grade Guitars, where we feature guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner doom genre. So if that's your thing, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, it helps me out a lot. Today we are going to take a look at The Clarity by Sleep. It was their first release since Dope Smoker, uh, and it is a killer song. I think it's in the key of C minor. And your guitar should be tuned to C standard, as is pretty typical for sleep. So let's zoom in and break this one down. <laughs> So as I mentioned, for this song, as is typical for sleep, you're going to have your guitar tuned to C standard. The, the song itself is in the key of C minor, uh, basically utilizes the C natural minor scale throughout, uh, including the leads, with almost nothing else thrown in except for a flat fifth um, at one part at the trill before the solo. Um, so just natural minor scale, fairly simple song. Uh, the uh, intro or the first riff starts like this. And that riff just sort of repeats. So um, as I mentioned, your root is, is basically gonna be here at the 12th fret. 
So for the initial lead in, he's gonna start at the 15th fret, slide down to the uh, 10th fret, and then up to the 12th fret. The rhythm's a little tricky and took me a little while to figure out. I think I've got it about right, but... Uh, the first part. Then it goes. So he's doing these very typical Matt Pike sort of fretting the note at the 12th fret the root five power chord and then releasing, you know, hold, continuing to hold on the fifth string at the 14th fret and striking it as a power chord. Then he'll jump to all the way to the first fret. And then for the remainder of the time to lead into the beginning of the riff, he'll go. So that's sort of the whole first riff and they, they sort of just run through that over and over. And then they get to the, that, the, um, the end of one of those se uh, sections where Matt's ends on the. And then he just sort of does this thing where he'll slide into the, uh, the 12th fret. From the first fret. Then he ends that segment with this. So. Just playing off that 10th, 12th fret um, so, uh, sort of root to flat seventh interval as they typically do. And then he goes into this part where he's going to um, use the, uh, you know, he's got the bridge volume cranked and basically the uh, neck volume off and he's going to flick the switch tip up and down while doing this on the 12th and 10th fret. So he's, he's not picking anything and he's just making a power chord at the 10th, 10th fret and then pulling the sixth string 10th off to open, grabbing it, sliding to the 12th and pulling off again. And 
then to finish this segment, same sort of thing but he's, he's again not picking and he's using that um, switch to go from the bridge pickup to the neck pickup and he's sort of repeatedly four five six seven eight nine ten and he varies the amount of times he does it I don't think there's any uh, distinct pattern to it um, he'll sometimes one two three four five Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he'll finish up there. And then sort of jump right back into that uh, intro riff that we all have already gone through. And they'll run through that a few more times. And then he'll do this really nasty, totally Sabbath style uh, riff that starts at the first fret and slides really slowly all the way up to the minor third uh, at the 15th fret. So sliding from this, um, you know, one of these really doomy intervals, which is the flat second, one root, one note above the root. So again, so that's all just in the natural minor scale. Uh, then he'll jump to the to the tenth fret. To the fifth fret. So the big nasty riff ends, um, and he jumps back to the tenth. Up to the fifteenth fret, and then for this next, uh, you know, instead of doing the uh, a power chord down at the twelfth uh, or fourteenth uh, fret, he just moves. Does one of these deals. So instead of a root fifth chord, it's actually a root flat sixth. So to uh, repeat it. Again. And then the second time around, it'll go. So, through the entire thing one time.
Um, and then he'll slide down right before the solo and he does this trill between the um, perfect fourth and the flat fifth. So at the fifth and sixth frets, um, uh, this being the perfect fourth and this being the flat fifth. just goes into that solo uh, in the key of C natural minor, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the song, the clarity, and it's pretty cool. Got a lot of neat riffs in it, pretty classic sleep, just using that natural minor scale um, almost exclusively. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Um, if you're into it, you know, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll check you later. See ya.